Hi, so today I'm going to be doing a watercolor painting. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So uh, I wasn't planning on recording this, but I am going to do it anyway because I started it and then I realized, well, I've got the time. I might as well record it, see how it turns out. I'm not sure how it's going to be turned out. So it, this is always like kind of harrowing when I do this sort of thing. So I already started the sketch. Here's the sketch already. I was like I said, I wasn't planning on recording this, but uh, I, I did the sketch yesterday. And then today is a weekend. And I thought might as well just have the camera rolling while I finish this thing. I'm going to be doing it anyway. So uh, usually what I do is I do these sort of things during the week on my lunch break, which doesn't allow me to like record stuff. But uh, like I said, it's the weekend. So I thought I'd, I'd give it a shot. I'm going to approach this postcard in a slightly different way than I did in the last recording. Also, I'm going to try my best to light this thing so the light doesn't blow out every single time I move my hand around which is going to be, well, an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work out as well, uh, very well. So just uh, bear with me. I'm still trying to work out all this stuff about the lighting and the, and the way that the camera picks up what I'm doing. So, all right, so let's get started. So I originally recorded my voice over this, but then I realized I didn't have my mic on the entire time. So um, let me just uh, re-record the audio over here. A little bit more sped up but um, in general what is going on is I, I did the, the pencil line I did the the breakup of the light and dark and right here is where I went and got and picked up a, uh, a, a hair dryer so the hair dryer was is gonna be the first time I've ever using a hair dryer when doing any of this stuff there's a the hair dryer and um, uh, it, so here we go like uh, the, the hair dryer is there just to help uh, dry out some of the watercolor when I do. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to block in all the dark shapes. And the and the way I'm doing it here is I'm using, uh, I'm going to, it's a monochromatic, it's going to be monochromatic, so it's not going to be a full color. But I'm using blue uh, and purple. And eventually I'm going to go to brown. Um, but the, the, the idea here is that I just, even though it's going to be monochromatic, I want the, 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 the one, the, the two toned kind of light and dark areas to, to still have some color variations in it because I think it's, it's, it's pretty, it looks pretty. So I'm adding some purple here. Uh, and, uh, and, and the other thing that I'm doing that I didn't do the last time. The, the last time I took a crow quill and I did all the line work, all the uh, I, I, all the, the 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 areas where I thought hard edges would go, and I do I put those in first. What happens if when you don't do that is that you lose the line work. Uh, so uh, and and uh, and one of the reasons I did that is uh, did this is because I, I wanted to make I wanted to see where it actually needed it once I was done. I didn't. I, so right now I'm adding some some mid tone on the on the left hand side in the light, but in general I'm still placing the I I already put in the major blacks and whites. So by the way, this is a little bit distorted. Like the like the the postcards a little bit distorted. I don't I, I don't know why it looks so distorted. Or maybe may, well now that I'm looking at my the finished thing, it is a little bit wonky. The, the bottom jaw of the of the gal is, is, is really quite wide. Uh, maybe I'll fix it now uh, off screen. But uh, in any case, now that I've already had, um, uh, you, you saw right a little earlier that I that I that's when I actually took out the uh, the hair dryer and I drew, and I dried out all the paint. Now I'm adding the brown on top of the dried out paint. And the reason why I did that was because I didn't want the, the brown, which is darker than, than the, the, the original uh, values that I put in, to uh, mix. 
so I, I didn't want that 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 to, to happen. I didn't want it to make to to get watered down. I wanted it to be as as um, as thick and as as dark as the brown could be. And it eventually it turned out that the brown wasn't dark enough for me. Like I like I think I ended up wanting. It to be a little bit darker. So uh, I uh, I also noticed that that uh, that the the areas of the light needed to pop out more. So I added a a value on the left here just to kind of pop it out. And see here I am drawing it all out again with the uh, with the the hair dryer. And the reason why I'm drawing everything out is because I'm going to put in the line work and the line work I I have I decided that at first I was gonna put black ink line work in certain areas like the eyes the um, the mouth there uh, where where that's that, that mouth area is has occlusion so little places where occlusion uh, is is uh, is is happening is where I'm gonna put in the black <clears throat> and then after I did that I went in and I got brown ink and I'm putting it on the ear and in different parts of the skin where it doesn't need to be completely black. I, I put put it here on the hair, on the chin and uh, under the eyes. So it, it's a little it's 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 a little bit of of um, of both some line work here, little spots here. And so <clears throat> the the line is is meant to be like it was in the other stuff which is it was it's meant to to represent the the hard edges so once i put the the line work in i was able to take a, a secondary second look at how it, it's all turning out and uh what areas needed to be darkened up more and definitely the hair in uh, on her left under the ear and her and the the, uh, the darkness of her hair and face on the right hand side over uh, on the in the shadow side absolutely needed to be darkened in so uh, the, uh, I, I tried also to put in some purple in that area too I'm not doing it yet but uh, because if you look at the right hand hair area on the bottom of the of the I really like the way that color is mixing. So first I add a little bit of brown in there, a little bit darker brown, and it's not working. So, or I think I put purple and it wasn't working. So now I'm actually putting in the blue to darken that those areas to really make those areas pop. And, uh, and, uh, and just making sure that all that stuff is, is really, really working. And, um, and I think that's it. So I thought I'd take the time to let you know that I've recently launched a new video course for anybody who is interested in wanting to learn to draw, uh, but can't draw anything. Like you, you just, basically you can't draw yourself out of a paper bag. You can't draw a stick figure or anything. This is for you so that you can begin this art journey where you're starting to learn to draw. Uh, it's a skill that is absolutely 100% learnable it's just that uh, there's this myth where uh, talent is everything that you need to be able to be talented at, 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 at from the get-go um, it, this is it's a myth uh, so in the course I teach you uh, what you need in order to start working the course if you're really interested and if you really want to start learning to draw is in the description of this video and uh, take a look at the course it's it's general it's 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 very short but it's all pre-recorded you get exercises you get the information uh, and uh, and i've gotten a lot of really really good feedback on the information people really like it so uh all right if you're interested go ahead and uh, click the link below thanks for watching and i will talk to you next time all right bye